My favorite part of being a farmer is working with animals, uh, you know, being out in the fields on nice days, uh, you know, working with family every day. My grandfather, Elmer, purchased the farm in 1940. Uh, and in 1975, my dad took over from my grandpa and now we are starting the transition from my parents to me and then me to my daughter and son-in-law, Rachel and Zach Kennecke. Right now we're milking 320 cows uh, and uh, we're farming about 1,200 acres. I feel our farm is unique because as of now, uh, we're the first uh, new built barn that incorporated robotic milking in Manitowoc County. Uh, I know there's other uh, robotic farms in the area that, uh, but they were, uh, they were retrofitted into a, a freestyle barn that they originally had. So our, as of now, ours is the first one in the county that's a new barn. This barn, uh, we moved in here about uh, a year and eight months ago, uh, the end of February of 2021. We uh, went with uh, the plastic flexible stalls and uh, there's, we went with the brushes for the cows that, and uh, I think we incorporated a few, a few things in our barn that uh, it makes it just easier and, you know, um, uh, for the cows and, and nicer. Uh, we bed with sand in our stalls so it's, it's real comfortable for the cows to lay in. The, the cows are, they come and milk as they want. So the cow walks in, they are prepped uh, by the robot and uh, then milked. And then while they are milking, they are fed, or they are offered to eat a grain mix in the robot while they're milking. So it's uh, almost all of, all of uh, our grains that we grow, corn, uh, there's some ground corn, some cracked corn, and uh, roasted soybeans, and then a little bit of corn gluten that is purchased. But otherwise, uh, it's what they eat in the robot is all our grain that we grow on the farm here. There, right now, we're, we're averaging 2.8 milkings per cow per day. If one thing that you can, you probably need to start years ahead of time, I mean, if you're thinking about it, possibly a robotic facility is possibly your breeding program because your breeding program you need to by the time you can get calves and then you know two years later get them in the milking barn you need to maybe relook your breeding program and rear teat placement is a big thing you can definitely look at that on your breeding program and just um you know, uh, foot and legs, udders, and it's it's not just about how much milk I can get from them. Do your homework. You know, uh, farms were very willing for me or, or me, my family, my parents, uh, and and to go and and visit their farms and ask questions. So I am very open if people want to come here and ask questions because I know how important it was to me a few years ago. Uh, future goals would be, you know, transition more to, uh, to my daughter or if my youngest daughter, Jenna, you know, wants to, when she's done with school, you know, come in. Uh, the transition to family means a lot. <clears throat> a lot and uh, maybe a uh, slight expansion we did you know uh, when we built we did uh, leave the option of we could add three more robots with some expansion at some point if we ever you know wanted to or needed to. Advice uh, you know for future farmers is that the dairy industry is is changing at a very fast pace and how things were done you know 20 years ago is not 
and I think the next 20 years, things are going to change as much. So it's going to be keeping up with technology and being able to keep up with technology, both not only you know financially, but also keeping up with it on your own part.